All right, so y'all are learning about the most basic uh, life cycle and parts of a plant today. So I know you're doing the parts of the plant in class. We're going to do a simple art project to show what's called a life cycle of a plant. Life cycle means going from the beginning to the end to the beginning again. A cycle can be most easily represented as a circle that goes around and around and around. Okay, a cycle. A cycle goes around and around and around. And for a plant, most people consider the beginning of a plant to be a seed. So let's draw an oval and put two stripes on it. I'm pretty sure some of y'all planted this seed before, a sunflower seed. All right, so a sunflower seed, if you plant it in the ground, it will germinate or sprout into a small, put two ovals on it, baby plant called a seedling. So it will go and it will become, let's draw an arrow from the seed to the seedling. It will grow into a seedling. And then eventually, let's draw another line for soil. The plant grows taller and taller. Draw ovals on either side. So you can see it's not really seedling anymore. It's now a plant. So let's draw an arrow between our seedling and our plant. You can ask your whoever's helping you watch the video and do this project if you need to pause, if you need to stop the video and catch up, that's fine. Now we're going to draw a really, really tall plant because now the plant has matured. I'm going to draw long two lines and at the top we're going to draw a big circle because now our, our plant is mature enough, just like the pumpkins, they're big enough now to support a flower. Y'all have been watching that video with the pumpkins. We've gone from seed to seedling to mature plant that now has a bunch of petals around a flower. That flower has a lot of little seeds in it. So let's crisscross applesauce some lines on here because a sunflower head has a lot of seeds. And those seeds get pollinated by, we talked about earlier, good bugs that like to come pollinate bees. The so bees come and pollinate the flower, and that helps it grow its seeds. Grow that helps it grow its seeds even better. So let's draw an arrow between our young plant to our mature plant with a flower. And after a while, all these seeds will become pollinated, and they'll grow big enough and strong enough that they can form plants of their own. And we'll draw a curvy line, kind of like a shepherd's crook, and a half circle, kind of looks like a shower head now. I'm going to draw some petals falling down because now the flower has done its job. It's going to wither, but not only are petals falling out of it, but also lots and lots of sunflower seeds are going to fall to the ground from the plant. And we are going to go back 